Hi, folks. Here's Foss here with a little you station break. Hope you're enjoying the show You've so far. We'll resume here in a second. Podcast, uh, I'd like to invite you to come to my world. coaching, speaking, and Foss training show, courses website. You can also see our new podcast so over there at ChrisFossLeadershipInstitute.com. The over there, authors, you can find all the different leaders, stuff that we do for speaking engagements. If you'd like to hire me, uh, training courses that we offer, and coaching for leadership, management, entrepreneurism, podcast. Casting, education roller stuff, coaster uh, with, with over 35 brain. years of experience now, here's your in business host, and Chris running companies Voss. as CEO. Uh, and be sure to check out Chris Voss from Leadership Institute. Institute. Com. Welcome to the big show. Now back to the show. Friends, we certainly yeah, appreciate you guys stopping by. The problem uh, with the internet now is, is the idiots can there. find each other. Uh, when we used to just kind of put them into the silo and I've been really excited. I got to tell you, there's very few books and I read a lot of books, of course. Now they know since we have so many great authors on the show, find each other. But starting sometime yesterday in the morning, I started reading this book. <laughs> and I've been uh, so, with it. And I'm on you know, like chapter I think what's 25. Interesting, what I really love about can't the book is the down. detail I'm just, of it. I'm just sucked and into it. it and it really it's probably one of the most exhaustive, from detailed, the very young age, you know, his parents, uh, his upbringing, one of the most documented his strife at home. I think I've ever uh, read, to my understanding, if I understand it correctly, right when extremism and some of the roots of where it came from. So we're going to get into some of that today. And I think you're going to learn a lot. Have some real issues with women. The connection of his mother, January 6th, some of the things that we deal with challenges every day. I've seen over the course in our life, environment, being our single, politics in America is, here is the impact uh, lately, of how you may, much you may have heard some things. There's, you know, some kind of some things going a on. A child. Uh, anyway, uh, he is the author of the latest the word book. I'm looking just for? came out May second. From their parents, divorce, homegrown, uh, strife, Timothy trauma, McVeigh and the rise of shape right whole lives. wing extremists. You, you know, Jeffrey you're, you're Tubin so joins right, us on the show. He'll be talking uh, to us about his amazing you know, book. Trying to tease out uh, about the definitive account of the 1995 Oklahoma City bombing that led him to and Jeffrey is the I mean, New York Times bestselling author of American of Harris, he was, he grew the up outside Buffalo the Nine, Inside the, the Secret World of the Supreme Court, where his too father close to call a vast conspiracy, the run of his life, the people the versus O.J. Simpson, and opening years. arguments, that a magnum cud laude. Is it laude or laude? Uh, so uh, you can say it either way. Latin is not my first language, so I can't really say for sure, but I think loud on the middle class is the way it's usually referred to. Loud. I flunked. Uh, I flunked second um, grade. That's the uh, callback joke uh, we got on the show. Uh, but with guns, Jeffrey's smarter than I am because he is, is a magna cum very, very laude uh, graduate of Harvard um, Law that, School, that where he lives, uh, and he lives with his family in New York. Welcome to the show, Jeffrey. His parents had a very ugly divorce. So, give us any dot com. Where do you want people to follow you on the interwebs in the sky? Today, the 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 best place to follow me is I was going to say Twitter, but are you allowed to say Twitter anymore? I don't know. Is it Do we know what it's called this week? Of men <laughs> who, I, I who don't know. It's, uh, it's at Jeffrey uh, Tubin. He, he, uh, he joined the army. Whatever Mr. And was a successful soldier. But was there you also, go. Those of you watching this five to ten years from now, I always get the weird comments on YouTube. Uh, in, this is the in week the, that uh, uh, in the Twitter turned it to uh, as, as you said, uh, he became uh, a very X. dedicated listener. And of course, as you probably know, ten years from now, I filed bankruptcy next year. If you look at each of these individual categories. So I'm going to get, I'm gonna get out, the comments you know, on YouTube 10 years from now. It never fails. Uh, so most Jeffrey, Rush Limbaugh the show. Congratulations are, uh, on the new don't book. Uh, what and, mode have written a lot of books? What most mode you want to write this one? Don't commit crimes. Well, but as my you dad get the like to say, to make a long story uh, unbearable, these uh, this is the story and behind, what I think is uh, just a behind twisted, home, home frankly, evil uh, character. Back in 1997, all of that uh, I covered the trials of McVeigh and Nichols. I want to say the bombing was in 95. The trials Perfect for me, maybe. Uh, uh, I wouldn't want to call venue. it perfect just and to I give it any nuance of uh, being glorious. And but I, I was fascinated yeah, the, the, by the perfect by storm, the maybe. Story um, even um, then, but, you know, the, the, the part of your book on, I, I was I reading uh, about it, in the middle of the night the when I go to the gym, I was reading the, I got to the part where you talked about the victims of the thing. And you almost made me start bawling in the gym. It was moving to read that part of the book. In October and, uh, of 2020, you know, the famous photo as that everyone's I'm seen. I'm sure you remember. But, it, it, uh, the you know, FBI it told the story of the humanity of that experience who what were went through. plotting to kidnap um, And I thought that was moving and a, and a good reminder for people to and remember about. I got very interested in that case. Well, and I you saw know, that the suspects, I, I, I struggled with how to, how to do We're all affiliated with the Michigan militia. Now, I knew when you have that Terry Nichols, who was the second defendant, it's difficult to convey that sort of was also affiliated 
uh, I and and, and as you I saw, was wondering uh, about the connections, have, and I saw yeah, I, I picked not a few only were they ideological, including uh, the, the death of Bailey uh, Alman, the, the McVeigh vehicles died in militias in, in and the famous today, photograph that you mentioned, but in some the of the same people were arms. actually involved. Um, so and, I started uh, looking one into of that. the dramatic and then just a few weeks later, January someone who was trapped in the riot at the Capitol, and a woman who again sitting at her desk, the surrounded by five colleagues between the night five colleagues just fell away in front of her and, and I decided and they died, to, to take she a, a look and um, one of the things I always tried never to really mind been a, was a that comprehensive book you know, there about each one of those the Oklahoma City bombing was, was, and it was seemed especially tragedy. relevant and one, one to me little fact which I which was always meaningful to me one question in that in, in there you go. The book, you know, that, kind of that's the thing I really loved about the book is uh, the, 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 how many people were the parallels injured? that you took and ran between well, the two well, no and, one knows and, and for sure. some of the same influences, is, and, and some of the same radicalizations, some of the different organizations the are out there, the mindset of a lot of the same people. You know, you talk in the book about, you know, Timothy LeVay's sort of short-term thinking mindset is the same so as, as what goes into the January 6th. So a lot of take care of their injuries um, themselves. And, and, and you paint a very, I mean, the book is they, incredibly detailed. Um, it's they almost, didn't I, want I'm, to I'm surprised you didn't, you know, tell me what everyone ate for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It's act. that detailed. Um, and, but so it there makes is it no, very engaging you know, to where you're single just, number. It's you're deeply sucked in into it because you have all the information and you just, you're just, I just can't even know. But, but I always thought that was well, a great that, you know, that, uh, people of Oklahoma nice City, say, especially Chris, but, people who um, are you know, I, I, I that they had her the, in a research uh, area that I, that, that I didn't expect in, in hospitals and someone who's tried to take care of crime and trials for a long time. I never had this If they could leave the building on their own. Stephen Jones. There you go. And it was a, it was a, you detail about how, after, you know, uh, we came trial, together as Americans. I think the big significant two of the case, Timothy all of his um, interviews with McVeigh, uh, all of his story uh, his, and the his, bombing his background was it, it's one of McVeigh's several letters, uh, uh, big events in, in our nation's history, at least my life. I think maybe that's why I feel impacted by it, uh, and maybe by most Americans too. Defense, but it was that moment so that something Center happened that was so Texas. extraordinary on our own soil. A million dollars. And you knew when you woke up the next morning that life would never be the same. You know, after 9 11. Was able to, uh, you know, to all the different things that have happened detail. to us over the years. You, you knew detail, that but we were never going to be the same. We were going to live in a completely different world, McVay and was, new generations would never know what, motivated what it's like to go to the airport, I had this for instance, without being um, patted down. Access, right? Uh, to, to um, the, to the, the, uh, the documents. And, and, and one of the and, things and about radios and audio relatively that recent that was at the University of Texas. You don't remember, and I certainly didn't remember, you know, all the this stuff story that's going is on at the same time, about and, and the about fact that it has an ideological evolution for example, of right wing extremism. Um, in but it's also the, the bombing of April. I mean, it is the story in of January of 1995. The OJ true criminal case. Uh, you know, a kind fact, of on April 19th, genius. I was in Lancedo's courtroom in Los that Angeles, was actually very difficult trial. to pull off. But that had how an they assembled the bomb, Merrick Garland, how they find was the, the Justice Department, how they delivered the bomb. The all General, of that, who was in charge um, of the investigation, is is, is really a, wanted a, a, an a, investigation a true crime story and trial that was that, completely um, different. For the likes of which I certainly he didn't want. And it's it's amazing too because I mean. There, he didn't want like a circus. bunch of he wanted a very narrowly tailored in this thing not media but, you know they they have this ideological and that um, approach uh, i think has also sort of shaped his, his tenure as, and, uh, as attorney general it, it's interesting a lot of the same um, he, he influences been uh, rush limbaugh and all those things played into it as an, as for those attorney, people who don't remember attorney general uh, much about what went on fall. back then Another with the uh with the bombings was that in the mid 90s an important event in this history if you would it was also when the you talk about like what was mailing Bob, no. I think, you know, uh, across the country and killing I, I, and the fact, you know, because I've Merrick been so Garland steeped in this and a lot of people off the do remember Simpson it. Investigation. It's important for me to recognize I'm sorry, that a lot of people he was taken off the Oklahoma City investigation or conscious to try to catch the Unabomb. Didn't know it was eventually much, caught the following uh, year in 1996. On April 19th, but uh, 1990, because of the proximity ago, between the uh, uh, Timothy McVeigh and McVeigh, um, they've often been kind of looped to get a little inlet link on the driveway in the in the sidewalk in front of the Alfred P. Murray federal anti government building, in which was Oklahoma true. City, 
and of he lit Ted a fuse Kaczynski. and then walked away. But not away true of McVeigh. McVeigh was not a later, He was part a, of a movement. Bomb mm-hmm. with he was also not anti-government. Of fertilizer he was the back against Bill Clinton's blew government. Blew up about a the third of the building. So I, I think you know, putting explosion. things in the historical context, even though 1990, the 1990s children, aren't ancient many history, remember, I think it's important um, to recognize you know, what was really going uh, on, on the second floor of the murder at the same time. Eleven of the there you go. And you paint a uh, wonderful uh, been, profile in, of him, especially in, in over in his history, center. that you see in the same and, with January 6th, um, you see other people who ratified, you know, you, we talked about incels, uh, people who do school shootings, things of that nature, the messianic sort of history. attitudes and minds that they have. You know, I, when I was, was re- reading the introduction of your book, six years later, you know, you were talking about but, how, uh, you know, it uh, was Timothy a felt like, you know, this was his purpose, and I'm like, but you're going to kill children, and like, how, One you know, that I don't think they killed think children in the Revolutionary the War. Well, but, part, I mean, it's just hard. Yeah, you're, you're absolutely right. You know, but, but he was a fanatic. Also, and, uh, and, 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 you know, the, the three main time, links and I saw what I saw between to do in uh, McVeigh was and to show why particularly the story, uh, January 6th uh, was still relevant. Uh, the today, first was an absolute obsession of true crime story. This idea that... Um, there you, you go. And would you act, would you say that some of the same influences um, are still kicking around? I mean, I think you detail in the book that you know it's even worse now with the propagation of the internet. That because uh, back then McVeigh, you know, couldn't get you know they couldn't find the other people. On April 19th, they were around with so, because it was uh, the you know, second uh, anniversary. Now it's, it's probably of, much worse uh, the, in the dangerous FBI the, the internet is is at Waco is a big part of the evolution of the and that's true story. But he was also just as equally motivated by something that happened on September 14th. 1994, he told Bill Clinton to sign the assault that, weapon that always sticks with me. That was when I he, knew there was an army you know, out he, there, but he I was just couldn't absolutely find frenzied he did by look, the idea that the gun shows hey, try to talk uh, to people. His guns were. Um, but um, he didn't same have thing the personality with January 6th to, to recruit the other others. And it's my belief that they no both believe violence was justified was really in, in, in bombing conspiracy in support of their cause. But the big difference the third, is, which was the most uh, but, interesting but he was right, surprising to me, there was, an army was this there, weird obsession with the American Revolution. Um, had the, the internet. idea that um, that because allowed um, this broader the, the, uh, radical uh, patriots of 1776 as you look at the uh, rebels violently of, against the British uh, subsequent years, whether we, it was the, um, the uh, plot to kidnap the, Governor the, the gun which was organized over private 1995 or, or the mass shooting one in we uh, have El the Paso obligation in or the right in to rebel against the evil federal the government. In and, uh, you know, the, South the Carolina to more of these called the rally, 1776 uh, in Charlottesville, because Virginia, so many of the January 6th all of that, uh, rioters was both organized and leaders motivated associated by, themselves uh, with the American Revolution saw on the and internet McVeigh, on social media um, and had that's memorized right. much um, of the Declaration the story, of Independence uh, not is, is, just is the more pressing the opening uh, than ever because those ideas but the later in fast where easier circulation Jefferson is just Justifying the rebellion against the British, that's how McVeigh saw himself as an heir of the patriots of the American Revolution, as yeah. did the January 6th rioters. And what's interesting, you, you talk about how they were influenced by Waco, by Ruby Ridge, you know, all these different events, and you see how that that's still playing out today. Those influences are those people that, there's probably a psychological word for it, that use those sort of events as as operations for their violence the 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 bundy's uh the bundy ranch thing you know their big thing was what uh, ruby ridge waco texas all those sort of events and it's still playing out today and i think and, that's what and, makes and, it a higher danger and there are dog whistles today i uh-huh. mean, I mean it, it is not a coincidence um that donald trump had his first uh, rally of his 2024 campaign in waco because Waco has become a symbol of the evil federal government that needs to be uh, that needs to be disciplined or, over, or overturned, um, as you point out, the the the, the, the Bundy Ranch, uh, the the Bundy Ranch people, and if and um, the the book that inspired McVeigh, um, was, uh, this novel called The Turner Diaries, about a uh, right wing rebellion that leads to the overthrow of the evil federal government that too was read and uh and in, inspired um many of the january 6 rioters so i mean the, the the links are are not hard to find 
Yeah, and and he gets the idea. Timothy does to do the bombing of a federal building based off of that. He, he does. I mean, yeah. uh, the, and and um, the Turner Diaries is really a remarkable. It's a horrible book, but um, it, it's it, it's it's very vivid. It's about how it's a novel. Uh, the conceit of which is that the government, the federal government, has been taken over by an evil cabal of blacks and Jews. And the first thing they do is they pass a law called the Cohen Act, very subtle there, um, that um, calls for the confiscation of all private firearms. Uh, Earl Turner, who's the narrator and the hero of the book, uh, gets a truck fills it with um, fertilizer and fuel oil, sets it by the FBI building in Washington and blows up the building, killing about 700 people. Mm -hmm. McVeigh very explicitly modeled what he did on what Earl Turner did um, in the Turner Diaries. In the book, it it led to a full-fledged civil war uh, against the evil federal government. And that's what McVeigh wanted, fortunately. Uh, that that didn't happen, you know. And you see this theme throughout all these guys. You know, we're going to start a race war. We're going to start a civil war. The Jews will not replace this bit in Charlottesville. Um, there was the uh, young kid who shot up the Baptist church. You know, he thought he was going to. They, they all think they're going to start like a race war and they're going to awaken everything. But anyway, I, I love the book. It's so detailed. It almost reads like a screenplay. And when I read it, it felt like I was watching a movie. You know, you detail what he was going through in his cell when he was just pulled over and, and booked for, I think, a bad license plate. Well, there's, um, there's, a, there's a limited series uh, in the works uh, if the uh, Writers Guild and the Screen Actors Guild strike ever <laughs> ends. <laughs> I, I, I have lots of reasons to want the strike day. There you go. Well, they can make an AI of you and just put you in there. I think that's yeah, what well, Hollywood's I, trying I, to do. I think that's, uh, <laughs> I want people to watch. No one wants to watch an AI of me, I'm sure. Yeah, they'll just put you in one of those uh, Futurama tanks, head tanks, and put you in there. So, uh,